there you are for another awesome edition of Seismic Spotlight. You guys are just making me upset. You're pissing me off, if you will. <laughs> I have the can't stanges. The can't it's just like one, one word. It just flows just all together. Can't stanges. Uh, you guys are from the Merrimack Valley, and you were good enough to join us today yeah. Um, yeah. here Thanks in for our, us. our beautiful studio. Thank you for coming. Yeah, yeah. thank you so much for having us. Um, so you are Andy. I am Andy. This Andy. is your Eric, and then Matt. That's right. Matt, the right. man. What do you guys do in the Can Stanges? Uh, I, people call me the front man. Uh, play rhythm guitar and I sing. Okay. Uh, we get Eric over here. Play, plays a uh, lead guitar. Nice uh, screaming lead guitar. And we have Matt Denaro. is the new bass player. But seriously though, how is this band organized? Like you are the leader, and you you just. Yeah, we Tell do all the real the work. Are. <laughs> he just talks a lot. Actually, well, I had no clue about this interview. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's interesting. Uh, for a long time, it was my brother and I. Uh, my brother has since moved on to Greater Pastures, North Carolina. Okay. And uh, I don't know how many pastures are out there? Oh, well, I went down. There's not much to do down there. But he's doing his thing. He's working for NASCAR. Uh, so now I kind of took over a lot of the, the lead role. I do most of the singing uh, and uh, most of the songwriting. And uh, yeah, I say that I'm probably a front guy, but I couldn't do anything. I'm the, I'm the tip of the iceberg of the can't stand is. So there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff under the water that people don't see that does I really it, appreciate. Does it hurt to not have your brother in the band now? It's weird. Uh, it's, it's definitely definitely weird. He uh, he and I have been writing songs together for the better part of a, a decade now. Uh huh. And to have him gone, um, it's it's cool to usher in a new era. But it was I was not ready to say goodbye to the other. You era. mentioned a new record. Yes. Um, Tell me about that. Uh, of June seventh of this year, two thousand thirteen, we're coming out with the Love EP. It's uh it's titled The Love EP, it's, a, it's six songs about heartbreak for the most part. Um, so it really speaks to, uh, well, the heart, um, but it's, uh, it's titled for a reason. What, is it specifically, did something happen, or uh, are you just like into writing love songs? A love song has definitely come naturally, but uh, my brother and I, who did a lot of the writing of the, of the disc, um, have, have, have gone through heartbreak, just like anybody else in their early 20s, mid 20s does. Uh, just trying to find their way in life, you know, you, find, you, you go through heartbreak, and we, we've done that. We've done that, and uh, luckily we have an outlet with the with the disc. So you wrote the songs, but these guys, we got Matt and Eric, um, bass player, yeah, drummer, guitar player, guitar player. Yes, you're the drummer. I'm the lead singer and the guitar player. With the guitar. Oh, is the drummer just didn't come? Yeah, she's uh she's in she's uh she's in class. She's in class. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> she's a classy bro. She's getting she class. She yeah. has a reason. Yes. But it's yes. always drummers. It's always drummers. Yeah. 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 Um, but what what do you guys think about playing Andy's songs and like making this record? Oh, the bass parts are, are really cool parts to play. So I didn't actually have a hand in the record, which is cool. So I'm coming in kind of new to the band and, you know, learning these parts and making them my own is really a, a cool part because Andy's kind of been like, you know, this is how it is, but, you know, make it yours as long as it doesn't suck. It's a direct <laughs> quote. I paid him to say that quote, but yeah. it's direct. <laughs> What about you? Did you end up on the record? Yeah, yeah, I, I did all the lead, uh, the lead parts and stuff. You know, when Andy had me come in, I never, you know, I, I didn't know any of the songs or anything like that. And you just kind of, I went to one of the rehearsals and I was like, okay, well, let's see what I can come up with to go over these. And during the recording process, it was great because we could go in and be like, okay, well, this works or this doesn't work. And, you know, there was a lot of back and forth between ideas and stuff and it came out really well. So the lead parts, you know, it's not that they're hard, but they're definitely fun to work with. Yeah. And they're screaming. They are screaming parts. He's kind of underselling us. We're talking about the Love EP, right? The Love EP. It's a new record by the Can Sanders that's coming out on June 7th. June 7th. That is a, a Friday. It's a Friday night. Look yeah. at you. Missed the calendar. Yeah. And that, where is the show? I, I believe I remember it's in Newburyport. It's in Newburyport. <laughs> it's, a, it's an involvement radio uh, event. It's at the Steeple Hall in Newburyport, Massachusetts. Uh, so it's it's gonna be a killer event. It's not generally a music venue. It's something we're transforming for the night. Uh -huh. uh, it's gonna be out of this world. Nice. Yeah, it's a, one of those shows that are 18 plus. So it's pretty. It's cool. 18 plus. 18 plus. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Up in Newburyport. It's in June, so that will be like uh, just feel good. Prime weather, weather should be good unless the, it like the month is changing. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, where do people find you guys on the the internet? We've got a ton of links. The big one is the cantstanges.com. T H E. Uh, C-A-N-T-S-T-A-N-J-A-S dot com. That was a lot of letters. That was a lot, a lot of letters. But can, it's Can Stanges. The Can Stanges. Yeah. Siri gets mad when you try to make her say Oh, it. Siri changes our name to something <laughs> German, I think. Uh, the Castagna has. That's awesome. The classic. So, CanStanges.com? Dot com. Easy. Facebook, Google us. Uh, 
it, it's actually a suggestion now on Google. We're getting that big. But <laughs> uh, yeah, Google us as pages. You'll find everything. Nice. Cool. Well, this is the Can Standards. Check up on them. I hear that they played an awesome show at the, the Chit Chat recently, which yep. is local to here. Yep, it, was uh, a, it was a music video release party. It went killer. It went killer. Off the wall. Piss place was packed. Bar was happy. Uh, you can find our, our music video online. Thank you. What was the name of the, the, the song? Uh, it was uh, Strange Life. Strange Life. Strange cool. Life. On YouTube, YouTube. All that good stuff. Cool. Well, thank you for being on Seismic Spotlight. We're going to do our next segment with Jordan Callback. are back seismic spotlight that was strange life by the can standards they are awesome i am dave crespo you could say i'm awesome i, I say i'm awesome uh we've got jordan callback he is in fact awesome uh thank you for coming down well, and, and hanging us. up with us um when i say come down i say that because you are from maine correct we're currently in massachusetts that yes. means you're in a different state Whoa. most of the time yeah mm. Um, what is it like being a musician up in Maine? I am not privy um, to do that lifestyle. It's fun. Maine's nice. There's a lot of nice people. It's got a good music scene. Really? And a lot of stuff what's to do. The, what's the scene like up there? Um, a lot of folky music, really. But okay. So it's good to have a not such a folky genre of music. People kind of attract to it more. So 
I mean, there's so many different people trying to do looping these days, but there's only so many that have been successful with it. Yeah. Uh, who are your influences? Um, I'd say the top two influences I have are um, Keller Williams and Zach Deputy. Everyone always says Keller Williams. Yeah, Keller's, they're both really, really phenomenal musicians. And I, I remember seeing Zach Deputy at the Catskill Chill, yep. which is an awesome festival in New York. Uh, yeah, and he's fantastic. Yeah, he is. He's great. He's a nice guy, too. Yeah. yeah. Um, you were playing a festival, right? Yes. Correct. Nice. Um, yeah. Is, what, tell me about that festival. It's, uh, it's called, it's ended up in Starks, uh -huh. Maine. It's called yeah. Harry Brown's Farm. Cool. Um, they've had Zach Deputy at the Brew. Um, yeah, it looks quite like. Quite a few big names. Hot Day at the Zoo. But it's a nice family-oriented fest, and kids, all kids welcome. Um, when are you playing in that in the festival? Uh, the first fest I'll be playing early Saturday morning at three, and then one p.m. on Saturday. Okay, yeah. not one a.m. No. So the the one p.m. is pretty formidable. Yeah. That's a set that like people could actually make it out to. Yeah, definitely. But the late nights are a little. Three. What would you say? Three a.m. Three a.m. They like. These days they say that those are like really good sets on the, the festival stages because mm -hmm. like, you know, everyone's kind of just still out there partying. Yeah. Um, but I think people forget that Jimi Hendrix played at 6 a.m. at Woodstock. Right. And that's like one of the most important sets in all of history. Absolutely. And it was at 6 a.m. Um, so it doesn't matter what time you play at. Right. Just the fact that you're playing this, the this sweet there. festival. Yeah, it's just cool to be there, sure. Yeah. What about your songwriting? Um, how does, how's your process? Um, I'd say most of them come by sitting down by the lake that I grew up on and starting, starting to write a song there. What's the lake? But name? Um, a lot of them are inspired by falling in love, of course. Uh -huh. or, um, Beer Pond. Beer Pond? Bear, Bear Pond. Pond. Oh, man. That's cool too. Can you say that on public TV? I think you can say beer on public TV. All right, all beer right. is very commercial product. Okay, that's a good thing. But still, Bear Pond. Yeah. That must yeah. be beautiful. Oh, it's really nice up there. It's good clean air and wicked nice area. Yeah. I, I don't know if, if you take it for granted or not, but like, you know, just being. I remember when I would like go on vacation and write songs, it would be so much easier to do that just because it's just like, you know, nothing around you. Um, Absolutely. Uh, is it, do you feel yeah. that on, re on a regular basis? Definitely. Yeah, I think one of the easiest plays to write a song is when it's just you and nature, you know? Yeah. Uh, you're going to play Six String Time Bomb? Uh, time Machine. Time Machine. <laughs> okay. It could be a time bomb. Uh, probably not. No. Um, I'm not too That's going to be awesome. We're going to set you up and do that on Seismic Spotlight. by then I am wandering when we will collide cause you caught my eye making me wander and wonder if and when we will decide to come on with me one of these nights cause we are drenched the rain and it's unusual just how dry it seems cause I cannot complain cause she was so beautiful and she took away my pain and I'm still wondering if I will see her today but I guess I'll take a ride on my six string time machine just to see you one last time On my six string time machine Even if she's only in my mind
all get high but when we are listening to rhythms and melodies collide and I, I have tried to forget confusions that seem to settle in my mind and I'm still wondering if I will see her tonight Guess we'll take a ride on a six-string time machine Whether if it's yours or it's mine We're on my six-string time machine Even if she's only in my mind It's only in my mind. That was awesome. Jordan, thank you. Shannon, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Jordan Callback, Shannon Callback here on Seismic Spotlight. I want to say a big thank you to the Camp Stanges for being on today's show. They were awesome. Check them out. Check Jordan and Shannon out. Um, thank you for tuning in. Tune in to the next episode. Check us out at seismicnortheast.info. That's all. We're seismicking off.